I thought I'd share with you how you can actually put tape on your garments. On, in this case, it's the professional boxing shorts as well as the my tie shorts. Creating your own boxing collection. It's about you bringing in your own design, your own colors, your own elements of different details and finishing off that you want to put into your boxing shorts. I'm creating a series of sewing tutorials for the boxing shorts as well as the Mai Tai boxing collection so that you can actually make up your own samples, put yourself out there and actually start creating orders for your boxing shorts or making up a sample which you can always give to someone doing production for you if you are deciding to source out. Hi, my name is Tanya Sutherland and being a fashion designer, I'm creating my pattern collection to help you to turn this into a business or whether you are sewing your own personal style. I'm making a few changes. So on Tuesdays, I will be talking about my pattern. What you do about the pattern, sewing for yourself or sewing for clients. My Friday videos is going to be about finding your true identity through your style. So it'll be self-image, self-identity as well as self-confidence, becoming that best version of who you are, stepping into creating and designing the best life that you want for yourself. So it's a whole combination, starting with your style, your image, your confidence, leading up to the career that you actually want to design and the life you design for yourself. So stay tuned and don't forget to press the share button as well as the subscribe button down below to stay in the loop to see the new videos that are coming. And don't forget to leave some comments down below that I can come back to you. I thought I'd share with you how you can actually put tape and some more embellishment on your actual shorts. A tip that you can use the actual two-sided tape for fabric. So it's a very easy way for you to make sure that when you are putting your tape on, it's 100% precisely straight. You are planning and preparing your tape on your garments so that when you are sewing together, it's a lot easier for you to sew it down and to make sure that the line is absolutely straight. So in this case, what I've done is I've also finished it off with a two needle top stitching with a contrast. Then you've got this two way tape. You get two different kind of widths. Let me just shift everything out of the way. These are the boxing patterns. Let's say here is your, your garment that's really been cut out and overlocked and pressed. And you want to make sure that your tape is absolutely straight. You can use your fabric tape, which is usually double sided. You first need to mark your actual garment. You can take your chalk, you can use your chalk and use your ruler and actually mark it with your chalk. Here's a light color fabric. It's just a leftover scrap. In this case, I'm just going to use an ink marker, but you can use your fabric uh, markers or cookies or chalk. Because when you do detailed finishing off on your garments, it definitely stands out. So it must be absolutely precise and accurate. Okay, so I've just marked it with the pen. You can take a two-way tape and decide where on the line that you want to mark and place your tape. I'm going to do the second one. And as you can see with the tape, the one side is sticky that you put onto the fabric. And once it's on the fabric, you can pull off the top layer. So there's your top layer, it is sticky. So you can actually apply your tape on it. So now the tape is stuck down, you can just go ahead and top stitch it from that point onwards. 
Okay, so there we go. There's the tape. I'm just going to use little off cuts to show you. an option for your hemming of your boxing shorts you can use a double needle so I'm using large cones so I've just placed two cups 
the mug for my first cone and a mug for the second cone of thread and I've just threaded it through as usual so I've got both threads coming through exactly the way I would just thread in a single thread all the way around into the two eyes of the needles. When you do your side seam you need to make sure that when you do your hemming that your side seam slit opening both sides are exactly the same the same length. <laughs> 